Ladies and gentlemen of the media, uh, you are all here and you have witnessed the bizarre situation we find ourselves in. Our candidate is almost held hostage. And ever since the uh, voting started, the candidate has not been able to move out of his residence. His residence was attacked. Our agents and some of our boys have been shot at. I have just returned from the Legon Hospital where six of our boys who are party agents and some of them accredited observers were shot at. Some of them have broken bones. Some of them are seriously injured. And as I speak to you now, they are preparing to move two of the injured persons to the 37 military hospital. That should tell you the extent of the damage. We have observed that in elections like this, the Ghana police service are supposed to deploy and provide security. Contrary to that, we have seen people in attire of national security, almost 10 at every police station. And what they are doing, shooting indiscriminately, attacking people, and intimidating people. Nobody has been killed. Please, you can move out. We have weighed the situation. Some of the people, including our city member of parliament, Honorable Sam George has been attacked. There is serious intimidation. And as a party, we believe in rule of law. We have been in by elections before. And we, are, we don't think that we are in a war zone. But this by election has been turned into a war zone. We are peaceful, loving people. And we are law abiding party. We cannot subject any of our members to danger because of elections. In the circumstances, I have conferred with the parliamentary candidate and the leadership of the NDC. We have no option than to withdraw from the ongoing exercise. We are therefore using this opportunity to, uh, to direct all party agents at various police stations to withdraw and report at the Center for Conflict Resolution, SANCO, which is at, uh, uh, um, yes, we want them to uh, report there for further directives. The NDC has officially withdrawn from the by-election for security reasons, intimidation by invisible forces who have been given national security uniforms and who are intimidating, shooting, and, and, and maiming people. That is the position that we have taken. And we have the support of our parliamentary candidate who thinks that his own life is not safe and cannot even move out of his house. If the parliamentary candidate cannot move out of his house, then we see no reason why anybody at all should kill himself because of this by-election. The NDC has officially withdrawn from the by-election. Thank you. No, no, Chairman, you say he, he's under house arrest. Why is he under house arrest? If, 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 if shooting has taken place and people and about six people are now in hospital, some of them in critical condition, I don't think that a parliamentary candidate will be willing to continue this exercise again. We are going to the hospital with the parliamentary candidate to take care of the, uh, uh, the injured.